Hey guys, it's lol underscore Rybun here, or Rybun as you may know me. And today we're going to be talking about our third installment of Maple Story knowledge that I'm able to provide you. Uh, picking a main, right? and slash, or finding the first character that you want to play a bunch. Um, this is kind of a bigger topic than I can cover um, informationally, and a lot of it is going to be based on personal preference. So this information is basically just to get started in the process of figuring out who you want to play. I'm going to try to cover this in a much more digestible manner than I have in my previous two recordings of this. And hopefully it turns out okay. And hopefully this is the one you guys see on YouTube. Um, so first and foremost, I think we should mention a few basic common knowledge things. In MapleStory, there, there are five, not classes, but types of classes. These are warrior, mage, thief, bowman, and pirate. Within all of these, there's a similar likeness uh, between the classes that fall under each category. Bowmen usually focusing on crit chance, crit damage, and accuracy. Thieves focusing on dodge chance, crit chance, and usually, usually they tend to be more mobile, in my personal opinion. Warriors are just beefy, they hit hard, they're nice to play. Mages have those like flashy skills with huge areas of effect and stuff like that. And pirates are either people who use guns or people who use knuckles. Um, so they're kind of, there's kind of like two parts to that little descriptor right there. Um, anywho, I think the first thing to figure out, which is kind of in regards to this, is when you play a class, uh, figure out what type they are. So let's say you pick Kane, for example. Kane has a bow, and you'll notice their equipment says it's for bowmen when you play it. Um, so Kane is a bowman. If you really like Kane, you will probably like other bowmen. And if you hate Kane, you're less likely to like other bowmen. Now, I'm not saying every single bowman is the same. They're all different but they have some similarities. So if you like or hate one, you're more likely to like slash hate the rest. Um, so the first thing I would recommend is thinking about what you like to play, uh, what type of character you think you envision yourself playing, whether it be a mage, a thief, a warrior, a pirate, or a bowman. And then I would pick something within that class and try it out. For example, you could pick Kane or Pathfinder for Bowman, Adele for Warrior, Ho Young for Thief. Ark, I believe, is a pirate that uses Knuckles. Ilium is a mage. Kadina is a thief. Aaron's a warrior. Evan's a mage. Mercedes is a Bowman. Phantom is a thief. Luminous is a mage. Shade is another Knuckle based pirate. Cygnus Knights, uh, these are all inclusive so this is a pirate this is a thief this is a mage this is a bowman this is a warrior you get the gist you can play any of these classes and get some exposure to the class and then you can figure out do i kind of like this play style or do i absolutely hate it chances are if you slightly dislike it you could still very well enjoy something else within the class but if you really 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 hate it you're less likely to enjoy stuff within that little subgroup of either mages, bowmen, etc, dot, dot, dot. Um, so that's the first thing I would say. The second thing is to pick your main, there are a lot of options here. As you can see, we scrolled through a little bit and there are still way more to go through. So we stopped at Cygnus Knights, then there's Mihil, Resistance, Demons, Xenon, Explorers, Dual Blade, Cannoneer, K Kaiser, Angelic Buster, Kinesis, Zero, Jet, Hayato, Kana, Chase, who is the Beast Tamer. All these characters are available for you to do or to play. And within some of these, there are multiple characters to play. Like for Demon, for example, there are two characters here. In Explorers, there are three warriors, three mages, uh, two thieves, two pirates, and two bowmen. So that's a whole lot of classes to play. Anywho, you should pick something that looks interesting to you. It's my next tip. So find something like, let's say, you really like characters that are edgy. I'm saying this because I can make a really, really good example of this in Kane. Kane looks very, very dressed in all black. He's got this dark feeling to him. His story is actually, I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who cares about story, but it's its pretty dark. And uh, he's, he's a bowman. Uh, then you get to play this character. Maybe they fit like your personality or something like that. And you feel like, man, I really want to play this character. When you see a character that you really want to play, 
I'd give them a shot. You may like them, you may hate them. I'd take note of what you like and hate and then move on to your next character. If you kind of like them, maybe try something of a similar class. You can try something different too. If you really hated them, I would probably try a different class. See if, or not class, but a uh, different uh, type of character. Whether if you try to bowman and you absolutely hate it, maybe try out a mage or something like that. There's no general like specific guide on, hey, if you're this person, play this. Um, I think it's really trial and error and figuring out what's for you. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I really thought I would like Mercedes when Mercedes came out. And I absolutely hate Mercedes. I'm not a big fan. I don't know if it's just something with me or something with Mercedes. Uh, I know people that do love Mercedes. I personally am not one of them. Um, I love Aaron and I know a lot of people don't love Aaron. So it's really about trying out things and figuring out what works for you and what you like. So the first thing I would suggest in terms of, you know, don't get discouraged when you play a character and you do not like them. That doesn't necessarily mean you don't like Maple Story. I'd try probably at least three characters before you decide it's more of a Maple Story thing. And I'd also recommend getting all of those characters that you try to at least level 60 and then a little bit more so you can play around with the third job skills. In general, classes, when you get to third or fourth job, fourth job being at level 100, will feel much more fluid than they will at level 10. Um, most classes at level 10 through 30 and even 30 through 60 don't feel all that great. Uh, and once you hit level 60 or level 100 and you get access to those new skills, they're gonna feel a lot better. And in the extreme case, some classes feel really, really good post 200 when you get your fifth job. So that's a little bit of a long wait to determine if you like the class or not, especially if you're just starting out. So I would recommend going to either the third job or the fourth job, depending on A, how much you like the character, B, how much time you have to put into that character and stuff like that. I mean, it's really up to, to you to decide whether to continue pursuing that or not. And that's pretty much what I would suggest. Um, I'll give a TLDR because I've covered a little tiny piece of information over a very long time period. So basically the compressed version of this information is when you're picking a main, the first thing I would consider is uh, look at the, the the portrait that's provided. It's not gonna give you, oh, this is exactly how they play, but it'll give you some sort of idea of what the character is all about. And sometimes that's important. It kind of changes how they play usually within that, you know, you know, kind of subcategory of like Bowman, for example. Um, you know, they're gonna play a little bit more different than the other Bowman or something like that. So I'd pick someone that, you know, looks attractive to you in terms of, oh, that this probably fits my play style. After that, uh, if that doesn't work out, I would create another character, depending on how good or bad your experience is. If it was really bad, I'd pick something completely different. If it was kind of good, I'd pick something somewhat similar that you think you may like more, or maybe something different and just give it another go with a different subclass or sub category. Sorry, I, I don't know what word to use for it, but you know, a different type of character. Um, once you've done that, I would rinse and repeat one more time if you still haven't found something that feels really good to you. And you should always remember that you can always change your main later on with some amount of relative ease, but it may not be the easiest. Usually if you have friends and stuff, they'll carry you through bosses so you can get those great equips all over again for your new main. And at that point, you're solid. Um, but yeah, I, I would just mainly take note of their appearance and remember what kind of category they are between bowman, pirate, warrior, uh, mage, and thief, and then kind of pick around where you should go to next based on that. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to make a quick note that I did post two Maple Story videos on my channel, uh, and they got a lot of attention. And because of that, uh, I know some of you guys wanted more Maple Story content. This was the only thing that I could think of that I feel like I have enough information in my head to cover. Um, I don't know if it's super helpful to all of you but I thought it was something I could cover and it'd be another Maple Story video for you guys. And on that note, I'd like to ask if you guys have anything you do want me to cover. My Maple Story knowledge is not vast or all inclusive or anything, but I have played the game on and off for some 12 years or something. And so 
I do have quite a bit of information somewhere in my head about this game. And hopefully I can pull that out and put it in a video format for you guys if you have any uh, questions or comments or anything that you'd like to uh, see fleshed out into a video. Anywho, if you do have any suggestions or anything like that, please leave them down in the comments section below. Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to talk about here. And uh, sorry for not having my camera on. My girlfriend took my uh, ring light for an exam, so I currently don't have my camera on me. Anywho. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys at least a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.